So, Xtool sent me the new P2 CO2 desktop laser engraver, and I have no idea how to use it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank, and if you're new here, it's because you saw a desktop laser engraver thing overview and unboxing. Um, Right out of the gate, I have no idea what I'm doing with this. Xtool reached out to me, they're like, hey, we think this would be a great fit for your channel. We wanna send you a little bundle. So they sent me the P2, it is, uh, I, have to, I have to read this. It is the P2 all-in-one bundle, which includes the X2, Xtool P2, I'm gonna butcher that this whole video, um, the RA2 Pro 4-in-1 rotary, so I, I, I guess it cuts things too, the smoke purifier, which is down there. Um, you probably see it on the screen right now. Free fire safety set, auto conveyor belt feeder, that's kind of sick. Um, some materials and a riser base. Oh, that's for the conveyor belt. Yeah, it's a really cool bundle and I've never had a CO2 laser. I've only ever used, stay. I've only ever used the normal little desktop 3D printer lasers. They're not that great. They're more for engraving. I don't, I think they can cut balsa wood, but this is a serious machine. Um, hopefully my folding table doesn't give out and I'm 99% sure I can use this inside. I have ventilation in the smoke purifier. So it has some materials. So we're gonna get it unboxed and we're just gonna build it and see what we're looking at and see how easy it is to set up. Um, the only, only benefit I have is I'm very familiar with 3D printing and that type of technology. So maybe the user interface will be something similar. I have literally no idea. Let's jump right in. Oh, this is, this is nice. It needs antifreeze? Okay, so we got it out of the box. Don't want to talk about it. This thing is gorgeous. This thing is so freaking nice. Um, comes with a little bit of test blocks and wood. It looks like balsa wood and cardboard. Um, it comes with antifreeze. That's a good thing. I was worried about that. Uh, it's clear, so cool. That has a little vent over here, or like an expandable tube. It's got some cables, got some Allen key. Oh, here's the screwdriver I need. Some desiccants and, oh, a funnel to pour in the antifreeze. I've never seen a CO2 laser up close, um, but there's a huge big bulb in here. And if there's any damage on it, don't use it. I think that probably goes without saying. Fill the water tank with antifreeze. You need to prepare a measuring glass to measure purified water. I gotta do math? Wait, I don't have purified water. Okay, we're back. I got purified water and a measuring cup. Upon reading the instructions, read, read your instructions, folks, I can now see that I'm a, li a little, over-exaggerated a little bit. Um, yes, you are supposed to fill it with antifreeze if your average annual temperature is below, like, 10 degrees below Celsius, blah, blah, blah. Did, I'm in North Carolina. I don't need antifreeze. So the first fill is gonna be um, 1100 milliliters, and then I guess you fill it a second time, and that'll be 300 milliliters. So yeah, um, let's do that. First fill complied with. So we're going to complete the first filling, Connect the machine. All right, it doesn't say to put the cap back on. So we're going to power it on real fast. Let the tank suck in the water and do that. Whee. Okay, we're gonna put the cover back on, install the exhaust pipe. I'm gonna open up the air purifier thingamajiggy. And then I think the next thing will be like trying to cut something. Yeah. Okay, we're on the computer. I downloaded the Xtool um, software, real easy. Installed, it auto-updated. Um, little nitpick, tiny, small nitpick. This is like a four, $5,000 machine. They give you a USB cable this long. Um, now I might be able to go back through here and hook it up to Wi-Fi, I think, but for that initial setup, I, I don't know, this is gonna be in somebody's garage or workshop. There might not always be a computer around it, but that's just a small nitpick. I have a USB cable extension. Um, I have a piece of three millimeter balsa wood this came with a little test, little test thing. Yeah. Oh, I didn't actually, I didn't actually realize. Base wood, base wood, drop the base. Is this the right object? Hmm. 
Base wood, three millimeter, cool. So really simple user interface so far. Um, I'm gonna see if I can engrave my logo. I think that'd be kind of cool, just a nice little test. So I'm gonna figure out AI, Artmind. Oh, yeah, image, text, line, rectangle, vector. Um, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna play around with this. We're gonna figure it out. Okay, figuring some stuff out. This is pretty cool. Um, very similar to a vinyl cutter. I used to have a silhouette. I still have a silhouette cameo, but I was able to import an image, whatever image you want. Um, well, not whatever, but you need to make sure it's the right like color and stuff. I imported an all black image. And then when I select an image, I can go over to edit trace. This is probably what I'm going to be using the most because then it lets you trace certain images depending on the clarity of it. And you can adjust a bunch of stuff. So from that, I was able to extract this logo. Now I'm pretty sure it's going to cut it in the curves, I think the boxes are just defining where each cut sequence is. I think, I hope. And then when I'm going over to the actual process, I can process on the slats, which is what it is. Um, and then I can adjust, you know, auto planning, refresh. What did I just, I just changed something. How did I do that? It's moving. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, it goes in, it's taking a photo of the board. We're learning, we're learning. So we wanted to put it there. Obviously I need to be able to see the material that I have chalked up. So we'll do something like that. And then I can go, this was really cool. I can choose score, engrave or cut um, based on the object and then user defined settings. I'm going to go to reference, but you go to the panel and it shows you the depth of like, how do you want it? Do you want it to be like a light scoring or a heavy scoring? Like that's, that's really cool. So we'll just do, we'll do one right in the middle. Um, so it just auto adjusts all this. That's, that is so, cause I have no, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so that's really cool. Pin the easy set panel. Sure. Yeah. Honestly outline. Oh, I can ungroup things. I don't want to do that, but theoretically I can then break this up, but let's say we just, let's just let this rip and see what happens. Um, I'm closed up. The exhaust fan is on. I have a little air purifier right there and the vent going out. If it starts to smell too bad in here, I, I guess I'll open a window or move it, but hopefully it's not too bad. It should just smell like some burning wood. Let's do it. It finished. That that was really easy to use. Um, it smells it smells good. The um, the air purifier works pretty well. It's blowing out into the other room, and it just smells like lightly fresh burnt wood. Not nothing crazy at all. Um, but uh, I definitely I, I definitely got to read up a little bit more on like the fumes and everything, and just how good the air purifier is, and what it's actually meant to filter out. Um, I have animals and stuff, and I don't want to risk anything bad happening. You know. Um, but uh, yeah, really, really sick to use. The engraving feature works. I don't think I need to test that. It, it's, but you know, that's not bad. Um, I want to see now about cutting something. They give you, uh, I have pieces of cardboard here and then I can make like a puzzle, like cut out the, the cardboard and make a, like a nice puzzle or something. And then it looks like some pieces of clear acrylic. So maybe I can make some type of stand. I think it'd be kind of cool. Like a, like a lightsaber stand or yeah, huh? We're gonna play around with some ideas and get to cutting. It's probably just be a big time lapse now until the end. Go. I made, I made an airplane. Um, I found this really cool website, projects.xtool.com. It's the same company and it's just like a 3D printing STL file website. Bunch of different projects, bunch of different pre-cut things. It, I knew it existed, but I found a little balsa wood plane and I cut it out and it gives you recommended settings. You can adjust stuff. Worked like a charm. Took two minutes to cut this whole thing out. Um, I'm gonna assemble it because I want to. So please hold. All right. So uh, not everything slid together perfectly. There's definitely some trial and error here. Probably um, maybe making extra passes or some stuff. Um, be, it's it fits together like that. It's supposed to go all the way. It doesn't. Um, but like, two, two minute two minute cut. This is I, I'm geeking out over this. This is really cool. That was really easy to use. And websites like this make it very easy to just get a bunch of projects out. So I have my first little, first little cute little plane. Um, what else can I make? Hmm. 
I, uh, I got a little ambitious. Um, the program's actually just really easy to use. Obviously, there's way more advanced stuff I can do, and I, I have my own logo. Of course, I'm gonna throw it on everything. So this is a um, do glass door to one of my 3D printers, the Creality K1, and that came out that came out sick. Obviously, I need to learn to adjust like little tolerances and the passes and the depth and blah, blah, blah. I still kind of know what I'm doing, but this came out really cool. Um, Doing a little bit of tape and alignment marks on it really helped, especially when taking the photo. Using a bright, I used um, some black or red electrical tape that really helped contrast it. Uh, you guys saw before the little balsa wood plane. This is this is cool. It's cool I was able to do this in like two or three minutes. Um, I could probably, probably just pump out a hundred of these. Super super easy. I have no idea how cheap this bolt, three mil balsa wood is, but like it can't be that expensive. Not that I think these wood planes are still a hot commodity nowadays. You already saw the Frankly Built logo, but I think the coolest little test I did was on this acrylic, um, this, this piece of acrylic. Uh, so I had it cut the circle, but that was after. Now I couldn't figure out in the, I guess the program predetermines that, which was neat. So I did the engraving on the logo and then the final pass was the cut. I guess it just, it'll always do the cuts last. I wonder if there's a way to like make it so you can arrange and pick. Um, I'm still learning. If you, if you look up close, you can see some of the burning around it. I, again, trial and error, but at a distance, I, I like it. And the reason I wanted to test this is because of that. Look at that. It worked, like, it worked, it worked perfectly. I can make like cool acrylic signs now. That's so sweet. Um, it does look like it's better on the back. It's, it's, it looks, it's a better light dispersion on the back instead of the engraved side that's probably i probably would just flip the logo but yeah this looks this is so cool and like even even with well lit you can still see that it's 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 glowing um and now combined with you know i know how to use leds i know how to do that type of stuff well, obviously the iron man suits so i can use leds i can model and 3d print bases for all these like i can make some really cool helmet stands now i can make um a, a led eyes this machine can do curved surfaces and engrave curved surfaces to, within reason so now i can make like cool acrylic eyes and attachments and stands and bases it's just I really wasn't thinking about everything I'd be able to do with this until I started just letting my imagination run wild. And like, this is just the beginning. Thank you again, Xtool, for sending me this machine to start using in videos and try out. Uh, if you guys are interested in it, check the link down below. Uh, it's a really, really easy to set up machine. I mean, I had it running within a few hours and honestly, it was just me learning how to use the program. Uh, I definitely need to do more research into setting up a safe environment for it, getting it into the garage. The air purifier worked absolutely great. So whatever bundle you're looking at, um, I guess they didn't send me the bundle I thought they did and that's, that's fine, I totally get it. Um, but they do have a conveyor belt system so you can pass through materials and you guys can go research all that if you, want, if you want. If you liked the video and you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing to the channel. It uh, keeps you up to date on all the videos I have coming out. And now that I have a really cool laser cutter, it's a freaking laser, I'll uh, be featuring it in more videos and just doing more, more interesting stuff with it. Yeah, katana stands, helmet stands. Oh yeah, the sky's the limit. But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. You have a good day.